Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Zach Lajway. We have a busy hour ahead, but first, our focus this morning is on the community. Texans helping Texans in the wake of deadly storms. For almost a month, we've seen catastrophic weather move through southeast Texas. First, we had flooding that was up north, forcing residents to evacuate, leaving everything behind. Neighbors in Kingwood, Conroe, Channel View all had to overcome flood water. Then just weeks later, another round of severe storms, this time deadly and closer to the metro. Seven innocent lives lost as a result. Four in Houston, three in Harris County. And that perhaps is the most heartbreaking. In addition to that heartbreak, we've seen widespread damage and destruction. Joining me now to share more about resources available to those in need is Edgar Olivo with American Red Cross. Good morning. Thank you so much for your time this morning, Edgar. We appreciate it. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. Talk to us about the current need and where that current need is concentrated. Yes, right now we're concentrating in bringing food and emergency kit supplies to families that have been impacted, especially in areas where there is no power currently. Uh, right now we're establishing food routes all across communities that are much harder to reach, especially in areas where there's been a lot more uh, uh, devastating damages to, to homes and, of course, access to roads. We're trying to make sure that we're bringing resources to as many people as possible and inviting those who uh, have not received resources to call 1-800-RED-CROSS, which is 1-800-733-2767. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we know accessibility is a big thing this morning. I was out there Friday in, in some neighborhoods and throughout the Heights and Independence Heights, and I know uh, uh, abled uh, neighbors were, were checking in on their, their seniors who, who don't have access or means to get out and about. I know, too, this all comes after, you know, a, a week of devastating floods uh, last week. Northern Harris County, Montgomery County, Liberty County, all of these places hit extremely hard. And I know at the time we were chatting with you guys about resources. Since then, because the demand has gone up, have you had to add on or reallocate? allocate those resources to meet those needs, to meet that demand? Well, all across the country, the generosity of donors is the power and strength that allows us to fuel our mission. Uh, all of our resources are being focused in helping uh, folks who, who need emergency sheltering. We're providing uh, mental and spiritual care to, to families who suffered this, this really horrible, horrible event. We've, we've been on the ground since April 29th, and now it's May 20th. And so mm -hmm. we are finding needs every single day, and, and we're very grateful as well for all of our partners who are supporting in this effort. It's, it's definitely a joint collaborative effort. Government partners, nonprofit partners, the, uh, the, the communities themselves are mobilizing in a way that, that is truly making a difference in people's lives at this time. Resources are being uh, uh, allocated to folks who have been impacted to this mm -hmm. disaster. Yeah, that's really good information. Good to know. Uh, Edgar, for people in need, uh, how can they go about getting the assistance they need right now? Yes, there's two ways. So well, the first way and the easiest way is to call 1-800-RED-CROSS. Once you call 1-800-RED-CROSS, let us know where you're at. Uh, they'll take it. Uh, they'll, they'll, they'll basically create a case for you so that we can follow up with any kind of assistance that you may need. Um, the other thing we're asking the community to do is also to download the emergency app, the Red Cross emergency app. With that, you have access, direct access to communicate with the Red Cross and also to find your nearest emergency shelter as well. Uh, so those are the two easiest ways to be able to get access to resources. 1-800-RED-CROSS. Um, it's 1-800-733-2767. That is the way we're asking everyone one to call to, to seek help. And I know you mentioned too that these efforts would not be possible without the generosity of so many people coming forward for people who feel compelled to to chip in to to help out their neighbors. How can they go about doing so? Yes, and, and that's something that, that thank you for, for, for asking our community to help. It's uh, we, We're asking folks to visit uh, redcross.org. Uh, a financial contribution right now makes the most powerful impact. It allows us to focus our efforts in, in bringing uh, the, the resources that families need in the most fastest way. Um, so redcross.org is the easiest way, or you can text 90999, and you can make a donation through text message. That is the fastest way that you can contribute. We're also asking for volunteers if you want to contribute with your time mm -hmm. and support community members in your neighborhood you can also sign up as a red cross uh, volunteer at redcross.org we can use all the help we can get 
a lot of ways to get involved. Edgar Olivo, thank you so much for your time this morning. We do appreciate it. Thank you.